Hello and welcome to my very first full length empties video! Before we dive into all the products I was able to use up this winter, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Besides posting videos about Bath & Body Works, I also do cleaning and decluttering motivation as well as cozy, seasonally relevant content. Alright, let's get started. So just as a disclaimer, these are the products that I finished up this winter, but also I have all of my family members collect up their empties as well, so that way I can have like a big unhaul if that makes sense. So some of these products are used by my boyfriend Jose or my mom and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, the bin is brimming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment to organize these by product type and then we can look at each category together. So I started collecting my empty jars starting I think it was kind of the end of November. So from end of November, December, January, and now it's about mid-February. So it's kind of like a three to four month situation that we used up these products as a family. And let's get started with the candles first. So we used up 14 candles and three of them I considered to be more fall candles. And the ones that we used were Cranberry Woods. This one is a really great transition fall into winter fragrance. The notes are tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. For Thanksgiving this year, we burnt pecan pie. The pecan pie was kind of weak smelling it on cold. It was like a little bit sweet and a little bit nutty, but it smelled like it was going to be very faint, but I was pleasantly surprised. Maybe about the second or third time that we lit it, it actually did improve. I ended up liking this candle a little bit better than I thought I was going to. The notes for this one are gooey brown sugar filling, toasted pecans, and homemade pie crust. And then downstairs during Thanksgiving season, we burnt Acorn Lane. If you are familiar with Mrs. Meyer's fragrances, like the cleaning brand, it smells just like the Acorn Spice uh, cleaner that they have. And the notes are autumn leaves, warm cinnamon, crisp gall apples. Now the rest of these candles I considered to be more Christmas candles and then just simple winter candles that we burnt after Christmas was over. But for the Christmas season, we burnt Peppermint Marshmallow. This one is definitely not only in my top 10, but probably my top five. And it has peppermint, spearmint, powdered sugar, and marshmallow. The next one we burnt was Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. This one's good for Christmas, but also post Christmas. And this one is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple brown sugar. This one does come back pretty much every year. If you're more of a fall person and you're not ready for Christmas scents, but you kind of need to transition, this one would also be a good fall or Christmas scent. In the downstairs, we burnt vanilla balsam during the holidays. This one is really great if you like Christmas tree scents, but fresh balsam is too strong for you because the vanilla really helps tone it down a little bit and make it a little more sweet and creamy. Uh, the notes are balsam fir, frosted vanilla, and snow-capped pine needles. Has It's kind of hard to see without the wax inside, but it says better not pout on it, and the scent was spiced gingerbread. Um, this one, they do make spiced gingerbread still, but this one is a very, very old candle, so that's why this one was definitely on my list of ones to burn and use up. But the notes were spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. This one we actually finished more in January. This one is hot cocoa and cream, but the notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. This smells just like baking brownies in the oven. It's very accurate and it has an excellent throw. We made kind of a little pact to burn up all of one collection, and this one was an older collection. It's actually the Camp Winter, and in fact, I think it's over the span of two years they had two different Camp Winters, so some might be one year older than the others. Just so you can see what they all looked like together, this is the Camp Winter packaging. We burnt spiced apple toddy first. And this one, I actually am not as big of a spiced apple toddy fan compared to Tis the Season, but that's just a personal preference. I like sweeter scents, and the apple cinnamon in Tis the Season to me smells juicier and sweeter, while the spiced apple toddy is more clove buddy and cinnamony. Although what I've noticed when working at Bath & Body Works is we tend to sell more spiced apple toddy than we do Tis the Season, so I think this one tends to be the more popular one in general. Cinnamon, clove, and apple brandy. Then we had marshmallow fireside. This one's good from any time from Halloween to January in my opinion or even February. The notes are cedarwood, palo santo essential oils, and toasted marshmallow and vanilla. This one is classic. I always think of my mom with this fragrance because she says this is always her favorite candle and I think this one definitely would make my top 10 favorites. Then on Christmas Day, it's our tradition, we always do a Christmas tree scent and we did fresh balsam which is tried and true. 
The notes are pine, cedarwood, and eucalyptus. I find this one burns very strong and it's the most like outdoorsy, crisp, fresh of all the Christmas tree candles that they have. We actually burned two hot cocoa and creams. This one is just the part of the camp winter, but it's the same fragrance as the one I showed you before. Then pretty soon after Christmas time, we burnt winter. I love this candle. It's one of the first winter slash Christmas candles I've ever burnt before in the past and so it brings me a lot of nostalgia. Orange, fir needle, and clove. Love that scent. And then the last candle that we have is Campfire Donut. And it looks like this. This one is one of Jose's favorites. He loves donut scents and he loves like that yeasty note in it, which this one is very prominent. Powdered sugar, glazed donut, and cedar wood. I don't really notice the cedar wood in it. I just mainly smell like donut yeast. Those are all of the candles. Let's move on to the hand soaps next. So as a family, we used up nine hand soaps. Seven of them were foaming and then two of them were the gel soap. So let's look at the gel ones first. I think the year on this one is 2017. So it was definitely time for this one to get used up but this one was a part of a fall collection and we actually used this in, I think the end of November and the scent is called Sparkling Cranberry Cider and it has notes of cranberries, chilled cider and apricot nectar. If they ever made this scent again, I totally would snatch it up. It smelled so good. And then this one is probably one of my favorite hand soaps of all time. It's Winter Citrus Wreath and this packaging is quite old. As you can see, 2016. So it was definitely time for me to use this one up. It was fun because it was actually an orange, like a bright orange hand soap. Maybe you can kind of see like the tail end there. The fragrance notes are beautiful balsam wreath accented with fresh citrus. So then for about Thanksgiving time, we used up this hearth and home hand soap, also very old at this point, at the laundry room sink. And the notes are brandied apple and cinnamon. This one also was from 2016, so it was good we finally used that one up. I love the scent of this one. It's extremely gourmand. So if you don't like your hands smelling like spicy maple syrup, then maybe not a scent for you, but I am totally all about that. So this one is from 2019. It is an aromatherapy blend that they used to have called Thankful. And we used this one in the basement bathroom and it has notes of frankincense and myrrh. This one's good for a gender neutral one. It is edging a little bit on the side of musky. I think this one's a good guy friendly one. It's a little bit woodsy. This one's from 2019 and it's called Vanilla Sage. It has notes of fresh sage, toasted hazelnut, and suede musk. Also a good guy friendly scent. In fact, this is the one that my dad used a lot. It kind of smells like if a men's cologne were really, really sweet. That's what that smells like to me. Downstairs, we used up this spiced peppermint tan soap and this one was kind of unusual. It was fresh peppermint cream, shaved cinnamon, and vanilla cream. I thought this hand soap was going to smell more like peppermint marshmallow. I thought it was going to be more about like the creamy marshmallowy vanilla note and that it was going to be more sweet, but it actually, the cinnamon note in it really prevailed as the main note. And so it was kind of an interesting, unusual blend, but I liked it. I probably wouldn't buy it again though. In the upstairs bathroom, we used up a frosted coconut snowball, which this one usually comes out in a body care scent as well, pretty much every Christmas time. Um, the notes are creamy coconut, whipped vanilla, and sugar crystals. Second to last, we used up a spiced apple toddy. I like this in the hand soap a lot more than I do in the candle. Um, the notes are warm apple cider, vanilla, brandy, and whipped cream. I think it's because it's a little more gourmand scented in the hand soap than it is the candle that I liked it more. And then last but not least, we used up a very old packaging of snow-kissed citrus. This one is from the year 2016 too, so it was about time we used this one up, but the notes are sugary winter lemons. Winter lemons, I don't know. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it says sugary winter lemons glisten in the first snowfall, so. Normally I bust through a lot of hand sanitizers and have tons of hand sanitizer empties, but this time around I only have two and I credit that to two things. A, I didn't go out very much and actually none of my family really went out that much so we weren't really sanitizing on the go as often as we were before. And then B, we also have started getting those large pump hand sanitizers. They look like this. We have a couple of those stationed around the house and so we've been really using those as our hand sanitizer more often than the little ones. This one is gingham, which kind of smells like freesia and white peach, maybe a little bit of clementine. And then this one is winter. And this one is like pine needles, clove, and citrus. 
And then for the rest of the home fragrance, we were burning so many candles that we didn't really bust through many wallflowers either. So the two wallflowers that we did use up was vanilla balsam, which matched the candle at one point, and then cucumber melon, which is when I did my hit refresh. We almost never have empties of room sprays just because they do really last forever. It says wish on it, and it's actually the scent Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Okay, so I just counted all of my body care items that I emptied out, and there are 14 of them. One of them is kind of a random one. It's actually a hair conditioner back when they used to have a couple hair care products. Um, and this one is the Nourishing Banana Hair Mask. If they sold these hair masks, I definitely would buy them again. This is the only fragrance mist that was used up, but it's the Coconut Mint Drop. And then I also was able to finish up the matching shower gel. This is the 2017 packaging and the notes are white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. I do really love the fragrance and I thought the packaging for this year was particularly cute. I am more of a Twisted Peppermint person, so I used this to kind of switch it up when I was getting bored of Twisted Peppermint and then I used this one alternatively. So yeah, it's kind of like a second choice, but I still really like it. Speaking of Twisted Peppermint, I used up this super de duper old body cream. The texture of it was actually okay. The notes are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, hint of musk. I love Twisted Peppermint. It's my favorite of the holiday ones that they bring back every year. Um, so of course I would definitely buy this one again. At the very, very end of November, I did use up some marshmallow pumpkin latte goodies. So the body scrub was the whipped marshmallow texture and I really liked the texture. It was a little less coarse than some of the foaming sugar scrubs they have. Um, and then this one was interesting. This one was actually a shower gel of marshmallow pumpkin latte that was infused with honey, which is why they did the packaging of like a honey beehive. The notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, praline musk. Top three fragrance. I love this fragrance. I use it every fall. So I definitely need to do a restock once these come back in season. Also on the fall theme, my sister actually used up this shower gel. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, one of their classic scents that they usually bring back every year, both in body care and home fragrance. The notes are Heirloom Pumpkin, Autumn Cinnamon, Ginger Snap, and Whipped Vanilla. This is kind of random and off season, but I was able to use up a tail end of At The Beach Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, the notes are Frangip... Frangipani. White frangipani blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot waters, sea salt breeze, and sun-kissed musk. Now this one is a nice coconut scent, but it's not really like a sweet toasty coconut. It's more like a sunscreen natural white beach sands kind of coconut. This body scrub was a group effort. Everyone in my family was using this over the summer actually, cause I would leave it at my sink in the utility room and people would just, you know, if they get dirt on their hands from gardening or whatever, they would use this scrub at the hand sink. But then towards the end, I actually just used it normally as a body scrub once I realized that there wasn't much left. But this is the mineral body polish and it was a part of the hyaluronic water collection that they used to have a couple summers back. I love this, not only because of the way it feels, but the scent is just a nice, fresh, clean, watery scent. And um, it's good for guys too. So if you ever come across this hyaluronic acid body care stuff, if they ever make it again, I definitely highly recommend it. So good. And then the last body care item that I used up personally was Be Joyful in the body lotion. This body lotion was just really at a tail end. So I decided to just use it until it was gone. So the notes are sparkling clementine, Golden Mango, Frosted Jasmine, Winter Melon, and Shimmering Sugar. Um, this one was actually from 2015, so that's why I really felt the need to use this up. I probably wouldn't buy it again, not because the fragrance isn't good, but it's just not really my style. Think kind of like Gingham and Thousand Wishes came together this is what Be Joyful would smell like. So the last four body care items were actually Jose's body care that he used. He used up two body washes of aromatherapy. This one is one of his favorites. It's happiness and it's got bergamot and mandarin oil in it. And then he also used this eucalyptus for the first time and he used that up pretty quickly. He really said he liked it a lot. Um, it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub a little bit. It didn't smell too medicinal on him. On me, it really smelled like I had just slathered up in Vicks, which wasn't really the vibe I wanted. So he was more than glad to use this. It smelled more appropriate on him, but it's just straight up eucalyptus scented. Then he used up this very old packaging of orange ginger energy body cream. You can still buy this today. Of course, it's gone through at least four or five packaging changes since then. And then the last body care item was this Superfoot 
Oh, super soft foot cream. During 2019, they had done a little more efficacious body care. They had done like hair care, face masks. Um, they had more body care that was kind of supposed to mimic the True Blue Spa stuff that they used to have forever ago. And so that's what this was from. So now that you've seen all of the winter empties that my family was able to make, I'm going to show you the spring lineup of all the things that are my goals to try and get used up this spring. Let's go. I like to organize my nearly empty products into the top shelf of this rolling cart in my bathroom so that I can easily grab things when I plan what scents I'm going to use when I shower. I'm only going to set out my body care like this because I just pick and choose my candles and hand soaps in the moment and I use them completely once I use them once. I'm also leaving space for a row of mini body care products because I plan on going through and decluttering and organizing those soon too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.